am Brent, you're watching Steam Culture. Thanks for joining me. Well, by the early 1900s, America's appetite for copper was skyrocketing with things like production of cooking utensils, pots and pans, copper piping for housing construction, electrical windings for motors, baseball caps, VCRs. This puts a lot of pressure on copper miners. Now in the copper mining business, you have what's called a stamp. And that stamp is a real, real heavy stamp that comes down and crushes the rock so that they can screen out and get extract the copper out of it. So at the time they were using what was called a gravity stamp, which was a series of cams and belts and pulleys, but it was driven either by hydro, by a water wheel, or by a diesel motor to lift the gravity fed stamp up and then just drop it on the rock and crushed it. So if they wanted to change that, they had to basically change the size of the stamp, very time consuming and very uh, labor intensive. Well, along came the steam stamp. And here's a picture of one from Alice and Chalmers. And essentially, we now incorporated a steam piston, which would drive the, uh, the rod up and down and turn those cams. And it would allow for more crushing power. It would allow for more control over the crush, meaning I could break the rock in uh, from two foot to five eighths, or down into a quarter or something smaller, depending on how they want to screen it so they could extract the copper. That's cool. Now, steam stamp mills were traditionally, as I read, a little bit smaller, but they would stack these together. So maybe uh, you were crushing 300 tons a day with this Allison Chalmers steam stamp, but you'd stack 30 of them together. So you've got 30 of them together, 300 tons a day stamping, running for five days a week. So that's... I'm not gonna figure it out because I won't, but first person to figure it out and put it down in the comments, we'll send you a Steam Culture t-shirt. How about that? Now there's several mining museums in the US and the UK or really wherever mining was prevalent that still have some steam stamp mills in operation and you can go see them being operated by folks who uh, love history and love steam and love putting on a good show. So maybe there's your summer vacation this year. Well, maybe you knew about the steam stamp mill. I didn't, but you do now because you watched Steam Culture where we work on something for you each and every week. So go Google it, the Steam Stamp Mill, while you're out there, Google us, because we have great content for you. Each and every week, new stuff. In the meantime, I'm gonna go work on something else for you. See you next week.